Welcome back to the show, everyone. We're going to learn all about the Rapids Early Childhood Network. And joining us this morning, Cindy Russian, Catherine McKay, and Nicole Hall. Thank you so much. Good morning. Thank you. This Thank you. encompasses way more than just res registering your child for pre-K or kindergarten. Yes. In the last couple of years, we have begun bringing all of our our groups together so we're now called the Rapids Early Childhood Network and in that we're having coordinated enrollment for all of the Head Start Early Head Start centers for public pre-k and kindergarten and for our child care centers that offer the child care assistance program so online registration is the whole month of February they can go to the RPSB website and register for any program they put their first choice in and then there will be an on-site registration March 14th through the 16th at their school that they chose as their first choice or their zone school. We're talking about children beginning at what age? Uh, well it's really birth to five. Okay. So for the child care centers they take birth to five. For Head Start it's birth to five okay. and for uh, Rapids Parish it's public pre-k and kindergarten so they have to be four by September 30th mm -hmm. to enter pre-k for this fall and they have to be five by September 30th for kindergarten okay Nicole Hall yes. what do you want us to know about Head Start well Head Start is a federally funded program that serves families of low income um, children or children with disabilities um, we are excited about the partnership with the uh, um, Rapids Early Childhood Network it gives us the opportunity to offer services to the entire family. So although um, public pre-K serves four and five-year-old children, Head Start has the opportunity to serve zero to five. That's wonderful. And so if you've got kids who are in preschool or kindergarten and other children who are younger, we're available to serve those families as well. Okay, and I'm sure there are special requirements folks can go online or for folks that don't have access to a computer, how would they find out more information? They can either come to our administrative office at 1335 Jackson Street and fill out an application or any Head Start Center in the parish. We have family service coordinators on hand daily who are prepared to assist with taking applications and making sure that um, families bring in the documentation required. Okay. Catherine McKay, you're here to share information regarding what? special education? Yes, we have a child search uh, team that uh, if anybody has concerns about their child from birth to five, uh, they can call my office and uh, set up a screening or an appointment so that uh, we get these little kiddos that have developmental delays an early start. Uh, we start taking children into the public school system at age three. Um, a lot of our kiddos we get from early steps at 2.9 years we start evaluating them but even if children have not been evaluated yet they can call my office and get a, a, a screening uh, done for their child and then as they are identified we place them in the schools or where we serve them wherever they are in the community at three years old and then at four years old they come to the schools and Cindy and I blend our programs together mm -hmm. so we have children with disabilities and typical children that are all in the same classrooms together and then the same thing with Nicole. Nicole uh, has children with disabilities in their center too. It's served. wonderful and it has to be so com comforting for parents out there to know that there is a place for my child. Yes. There is yes. a really good quality yes. place mm -hmm. for my child. Absolutely. And even though there's there's so many different entities offering the services, we're all working together to That's make right. sure that children get mm -hmm. the proper education. Yeah. And get right. the best education. And the best services, yes. What about for those folks that are interested in their children going to the magnet programs? Uh, they can actually go online right now okay. and uh, there is a link for them to download an application and they download the application complete it and take it to the school of their choice and you know at that time they can tour the school they can turn in all that documentation that they need to okay you've got some deadlines yes we do <laughs> so on online registration is the month of February um, on-site registration is the week of March 14th and the reason that we ask everyone to try to do it by the end of that week is that we will screen them in April and for public pre-k we will send out our rosters in May so parents will know in May that their child already has a spot Wonderful. in our public pre-k and the same thing Absolutely. with Head Start and in child care. That is great great news yes. ladies. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate all the wonderful information. Rapids Early Childhood Network. I think it's yes. a great thing. Stay Thank with you. us. More Thank Good you. Day Sin Live coming right up.